it's Allison, Certified Personal Trainer, here to help you get an awesome cardio workout in. It's going to be a low impact beginner cardio workout today for 20 minutes. We'll start with a 5 minute warm up to just get everything loose and getting a little warmer, hence the name warm up. We'll move into some circuits, it's about 10 minutes. We've got 4 circuits, each one has 2 moves that we'll run through twice. And then to finish it off, we'll do a nice cool down about five minutes with some static stretching. So we'll hold those stretches for about 30 seconds each. And all you need today is yourself, your sneaks, and a little bit of water. It's always good to have too. And let's do this, let's have some fun. All right, let's do it. The timer starts now. We'll start with a really nice warm up, moving slowly at first. Big arm circles, feet are hip distance apart, toes face me. Moving through water, no collapsing the arms, nice and slow. And let's reverse it. So for our warm up today, we'll do each move for 30 seconds. We'll run through five minutes, basically a warm up. It's gonna feel so good. It's really important to get warm, warm the muscles. And now let's twist over to the left back to center, twist to the right, back to center. So it's important here to keep your hips as much as you can still and facing forwards. You wanna keep a nice neutral chest. You're not moving the neck here, you're twisting from the rib cage and you're breathing, just literally loosening up the joints. One more. And let's now stretch out the obliques and the arms, so all along our side body, back to center. Again, keeping those hips facing me nice and still. And just breathing, we're starting off nice and simple. We'll get a little bit faster once we move into those four circuits. Beautiful breathing. A warm up is super important so that we don't pull anything or hurt ourselves. And now hands on hips, circle it out. And if you notice, we're warming up our shoulders, our hips, we're gonna do our wrists, our ankles, our knees, all the points that sometimes feel a little extra stiff and reverse, which are basically just our joints. Ah, I love hip circles. It reminds me of hula hooping back when I was little. I was never very good at it though. And come to still, reach that ear towards that shoulder, back to center. Another important note here is that we're not holding any of our stretches. No static hold, we do that at the end. Right now it's all dynamic. And dynamic literally just means moving. That's all. Other side, over to the left. Ooh, feeling a nice stretch along the right side of your neck. And now let's roll out the wrists. Just like I said, getting all those joints. And then reverse. One in doubt, reverse. Same thing you do one way, you have to do the other. And now that ankle, reverse. Other side, ankle. And reverse. Ah, feels really good, I'm cracking. And now I want you to sidestep and reach. We're gonna start picking up the pace a little bit more here. So all of our joints are now warmed up, nice and loose. So you're gonna step, tap it with the big toe, and then reaching to the side. Starting to feel the breeze. Whew. Breathing. About five seconds. And then we're gonna reach overhead. Same thing with the legs reaching overhead, really feeling it along the obliques, even a little bit of our lats, which is the size of our back, stepping side to side. Now I want to talk about breathing. When it gets hard, you're going to want to breathe from your chest. It's called shallow breathing. It's not good for you. You really need to focus on breathing from your diaphragm, from the belly, really important. It'll help conserve energy and heel taps with some arms, nice and slow here. We're always moving through water, no flopping around, not birds. 
So it's in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're almost done with our warm up. We have one move after this, and then we'll head into our circuits. We have four circuits today that we'll run through twice, and each circuit only has two moves. All right, we got some marching. March, march. So right now I'm just tapping the big toe, keeping it simple. If you wanna give it a little bit more intense, you're gonna drive that knee up, up, up. And I'm pumping the arms. You can always keep hands on hips if it's too much. This is a low impact workout, which doesn't mean that it's easy. It just means we're not really jumping and we're not going up and down a lot, like from the floor to standing. We're actually gonna stay standing the entire time. And shake it out, all right. Warm up complete, we're gonna move into our first circuit. Two moves, like I said. First move, just the legs, it goes out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And I want you to stay light on the toes here. You might have to think about it. Sometimes I have to say out, out, in, in as I'm doing it. And it's right now just getting the moves with the feet, feeling the feet. And in about five-ish seconds, we'll add in the arms. We're gonna add punch, 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 punch. Punch, punch, yep. And you know what, if you're not going at the same pace as me, you wanna go slower, I'm going too fast. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you today. The fact that you're here and that you're moving is really all that matters. So I have a bit of a bend in my knees right now. Woo. Keep going. And I'm definitely moving a little quick today. Feels good. And rest, step side to side. Side to side, we're gonna do it all again one more time. So hands on hips. We're gonna go out, out, in, 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 in. And I'm leading now with my right leg instead of my left leg. And hands on hips, my heart rate's up. I'm breathing, it's good. It's good that your heart rate's up. It's supposed to do that right now. It means you're healthy. Woo. We're gonna add those arms in. We go punch, 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 punch. And this is a super quick workout. 20 minutes of cardio, you don't need too much. Whew. And you can always follow it up with a really nice 10 minute stretch. My 10 minute stretch video is awesome. If I do say so myself. Whew. We've got about 15 seconds. We're doing great. After this, we're on to circuit two already, halfway through the circuits after this. Well, after we finish the second one. Whew. Are you breathing? And rest. Right, stepping side to side. Okay, new circuit, same format. First 30 seconds, just the legs. Kick, 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 kick. I'm gonna turn her around so you can see me. So I have a pretty wide, I have a wide stance and I'm kicking my boots. Just the legs, hands are up. In about five seconds, we're gonna cross the arms, adding in and cross, cross. Cross. Now remember we do these in our warm up with the arms. No flopping. I want razor blades. Nice and sharp. And remember, you can always slow it down. You can go faster than me. And you can just do the arms. Or you can just do the legs. It doesn't matter. Just move, just smile, have some fun with it. And woo, rest, rest. Rest, just rest, rest. Breathing, we're gonna do it all again. Hands come up, tap it out, tap, tap. Keeping a proud chest, shoulders shouldn't be up by your ears, they should be nice and down, away from your ears. And now where's your breath? Is it in your chest? It's okay, just really focus on getting it down deeper into the belly, in and out, in. And out, let's add those arms. So whenever we add our arms, we're burning more calories because we're working more parts of our body. We're also using our brain for coordination right now, which I don't have much of. So I'm sorry in advance. This is our second time through round. So round two, second circuit. We only have two more circuits after this. Yep. And rest. So our next circuit is going to be squats. 
Before I get into it, I just wanna give a couple of pointers. I want you to keep your feet hip distance apart, toes face me. I wanna make sure that your heels are going in or out and you're gonna keep those knees tracking over the toes. Now, I don't want you to arch the back or puff out the chest, okay? Hands on hips, you're gonna keep a straight back down, all the way up, squeeze the glute to the top and turn it to the side, down. Come join me, up. You can hear it in my voice. I'm breathing heavier. Ooh, see how I have a flat back? And then I squeeze my glute to the top. Back to you. You see my knees are tracking over my toes. They're not doing that or that. Okay, we're gonna add the arms in a few seconds. Super simple with the arms today. We're gonna reach down and up. Down and up. Yep, keeping the chest high. So I don't want you like falling forward. You're gonna have a nice proud chest. Ooh, feel the burn in the glutes and the quads, your thighs and your butt. Just reaching. I'm not actually, I'm moving a little slower here because I'm keeping good form. That's the goal here. And rest. Breathe, hands on hips, starting from the beginning. I know, very little breaks here. And up, squeeze the glutes. Down and up. Down and up. I know I said it was low impact beginner, but doesn't mean your heart rate's not going. Very little rest in this. It's basically just 20 minutes of cardio. It's just 20 minutes of fun. We're gonna add the arms in about three seconds, squeezing the glutes at the top. Let's add those arms down and reach, keeping the chest nice and proud, looking at me and reach, remembering to breathe here. Moving kind of a little bit slower, just because I want to make sure I don't put any tension in my low back, because I have a tendency to do that. But if this is too slow for you, you can move faster than me. Ooh. Last couple seconds. Breathe, 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 breathe. Stepping it side to side. One more circuit that we're gonna run through two times. So it's gonna be a side step, side step, side step. Come join me. So I'm staying pretty low here. My knees are bending and I'm stepping out nice and wide. We're moving laterally to the sides. Hands are up. So this is the first of two moves. Good, now we're gonna add the rainbows. Rainbow, rainbow, yep, rainbow arms. Basically just like a big wave. You're waving hi to your friend in the back row. Whew. Stepping side to side, keeping those hips facing me and still don't let your hips start rocking around or anything. Nice. Whew. And remember, you can just do the arms or you can just stick with the legs, right? Or you can add both. If you want it to be a little bit more intense, and rest for a second, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're gonna do it again with those side steps, side step. Join me, side step. Last round of circuit four. After this, we're gonna start moving a little slower, cool it down and end with a really nice stretch. This is a lot of lower and upper body today. And I'm engaging my core right now so that I don't you know, hunch forward or start rocking around a bunch. Ooh, and let's get those arms, add those arms. It's like, hey mom, I'm over here. Breathing. This is hard for me. Talking through cardio is really hard for me. Stepping it nice and wide, side to side, feeling this in my hips, my inner thighs. A lot of shoulders here, about 10 more seconds. We're doing great. And then we're gonna have a really nice cool down with a really nice stretch. One more each way and rest. Stepping it side to side. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. So let's step side to side, and just a little bit of a twist with the arms, like you're a little kid again. Ah. 
So what's important here is that we come down slowly. It's not good to go from like really a crazy heart rate to just stopping and like laying down on the floor and doing nothing. Not super good right now. You just want to come down nice and slowly. It's better for your heart. Oh, relaxing. Whew. How do you feel? Now let's do some heel taps. Heel taps. Let's get the arms in here with it. Whew. That feels really good. Heel taps with some shoulders. Nice and gentle. And remember the roll, we have to reverse it. So let's reverse. Moving slowly. Breathing. Is your heart rate still up? Mine's up still a little bit, but it's coming down. How'd that go for you? No jumping, no running. I don't like to run. I don't even love to jump. And then come on out, shake it out. Step it out nice and wide. Heels in, toes turn out. I want you to come down into that sumo squat and then reach your shoulder towards the opposite knee. Oh, feel a good stretch. And then over to the other side, feeling this in your inner thigh, hip flexor groin. Oh, just moving side to side, nice and gentle. Definitely gonna drink a big glass of water after this. Very important to drink water. We're supposed to drink like eight glasses a day about, but if you exercise, you're supposed to drink even more. One more, one more. Ah, follow your way, just to even it out. And then slowly come back up, step it in. Step that left heel out. Point those, flex that feet, toes are up towards the ceiling. Arms come up, lean back, bending in that standing right leg. Ooh, feeling a really awesome stretch along the entire back of that left leg. Now, no pulsing here, just stay nice and still. I'm not like hunching, rounding. I'm getting a nice flat back. You can also keep your hands on your hips here if that feels better. Breathing. You're supposed to hold a static stretch for about 30 seconds so you can really get the benefits of the stretch. Few more seconds. Slowly walk that hand up and let's we'll switch sides. Right leg comes out, heel down, toes up, bend that left leg, arm comes up, hinging at the waist, leading with the chest until you feel it in the back of that right leg, the hamstring calf area. And you can keep your hands on your hips if that feels better for you today or reach down. As long as you're just not rounding like this, I just want you to make sure you stay nice and flat with the back so we protect our low back. Ah, I love a good hamstring stretch, love. Hamstrings are tight on most people, so this feels really good, really, really good. Also, your hamstrings play a huge role in like your, your glute muscles. So the stronger your hamstrings are, the stronger your glutes are too, which then the stronger that all is, the stronger your low back's going to be. So basically strong hamstrings help to prevent low back injury. Oh, so this is really good for you, I promise. And then slowly walk those hands up. And then feet come his distance apart, toes face me, big inhale up. And then bend at the knees, hinge at the hips, lead with the chest, let the head, neck, and chin go. And you're coming into a forward fold. You can bend the knees. You can keep them straight, whatever feels good for you. You can let your shoulders round. You're gonna look through your legs. Just really just natural here. You can even swing a little side to side if that feels good. Heart rate's definitely down a lot now. Coming back to a regular heart rate. Definitely not resting heart rate, but still. Breathing here. And now super important that we roll up slowly so that we don't get dizzy. So I want you to come to still if you're swinging. Bring one hand to each ankle, and then big bend in the knees as you walk the hands up one inch at a time. Head is always last slip so we don't get dizzy. Awesome, come down. And then right arm reaches up, left arm pulls down the leg, 
big stretch in the obliques. We did some twisting today, which was fun. Breathing in. A few more stretches. Keeping an open chest, so I don't want you collapsing down. I need it nice and open. Really feeling it on the left side. Back up to center. Left arm comes up, right arm comes down. And then again, keeping those hips facing forward, just reach, feeling an awesome stretch along the left side. Ooh, that feels really good. How are you feeling? I love a good stretch at the end of the workout. We're almost done, we have just a couple more stretches. Just a little bit more for the upper body. It's a nice lower body stretching. And then come back up. Arms come out, right arm reaches across, left arm tucks underneath, and then relax that right shoulder. Breathing, feeling it across the arm. So something that's really good about cardio is that you can get more calories in if you do both the legs and the arms, but another really great thing is you can modify by just doing the upper body or just doing the lower body. So modifications for every level. And I've been doing this for a long time, and I have to tell you, my favorite type of cardio is low impact cardio. I do not love to jump, just not, you know, just not my thing. Let it go, arms come out, left arm crosses over, right arm tucks underneath, and then relax that left shoulder. Beautiful. Yeah, so I love a low impact cardio. I don't, I don't love running, you know, everybody's different, and you should find what you like, because you wanna be excited to work out, or at least, be excited for that feeling after you work out. Oh, yes, I did. That felt so good. Breathing here. Let it go. Shake it out. Let's just quick neck. Right ear towards right shoulder. Feeling it along the left side of the neck. I hold a lot of tension in my neck. This feels really good. center nice and gentle and then over to the left keeping a neutral chest no rise in the shoulders keep them nice and down away from the ears breathing back to center shake it out roll the shoulders anything else you need to do and we're done. How do you feel? That was a 20 minute low impact beginner cardio workout. We did five minutes to warm up. We did about 10 minutes of straight cardio, straight through. And then we took about five minutes to cool down and stretch. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for doing this with me. It means the world to me. I can't thank you enough for all of your support. And I really hope you love this workout. Make sure to like and subscribe and look out for my next video. And if you haven't done any of my others, we've got core, upper body, stretching. So please check them out. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Bye.